Hi guys, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss what slowly changing dimension type 2 in SQL Server Integration Services, SSIS. So this is the video lecture 22 of this SSIS class and this is a small point about the SD type 2. So when you are using SD type 2, so it is used to uh, get historical record with the newly inserted record. So let's understand with the example. So first here, so this is the target table that I am going to use, so it does not have any record here you can see or uh, this column that's present there dp number d name lock and created entered and then after the next is here so in last video there i discussed about std type one so let's see create here new package so this is package that's created with this name package two and the next is going to give here meaningful name of this package two rename and uh, Let's click there, rename SCD type 2. Then after, first here, going to import the file that I'm going to use. So here, I'm going to use the file, or this DW, EMP file is there. So this is the record. Okay, EMP file. And the next is, let's go there, and taking the source, this flat file. So first here, let's use data flow task, data flow task, then or here you can get or the source flat file it is other source flat file you can also use the relational table also let's click on this new browse and uh, the file is csv emp file that going to use now let's go on this column here you can see this record that's present there advanced so dpt number should be numeric numerical value is there so let's give numeric and t name and log both are a string so that's all looking fine if you want then you can get the record by clicking preview let's click on ok then after here let's use the solely changing dimension and stabilize the link between these two so let's stabilize the link and then after double click on this here next so connection manager let's click on this new already have this connection with the sql server and i already discussed table or view so you need to give here target table or you can uh, here target table so this is going to use their dct dpt escort dot dpt this and uh, now you can see this table that's going to use escort dpt dct and since here or uh, dpt number this is numerical value so that making this business key and no need to change anything else click on next here if i make this bigger so this is the bigger and now you can see this fixed attribute so fixed attribute for dname so dname value that's not going to do any modification so this here uh, okay dname and let's go so doing the changes on this location so if a user change so or uh, the or uh, location from one place to another place so by using here historical record so historical attribute select this tab pane changes is column values are saved in a new record Previous value or also save or mark as a outdated. This is so type two changes. Okay, so when you are using historical attribute, then this is a type two changes that's come here. After that, click on next. Next, you can select this option or better you select your time. So create date and end date. So these two column that's come uh, from this so uh, table escort dot dictionary here create date end date. You can see now after that. Here you can see. So variable is we need to set there. So three option is so let's give here country a start time. After that, click on next. This option going to uncheck and click on next. So this all looking fine. Let's click on this finish. So automatically you can get this option there. Flight files, SL type one here, new output. So directly that's come there then that insert the record if you user do any changes this come from here then after that that go for insert or update save that now let's start the task so when you click on this start task here you can see seven rows that's come from the flat file and this does not move anywhere so this place from there historical attribute so there is no any historical attribute seven rows that's come there and union transformation seven rows drive then that's inserted there so if i go into this place here let's execute this query then you can see seven record that's come there 
So if a user changes the location from any of this so location from one place to another place, then here created and end that the value that changes. So let's do a modification there. So what I'm trying to do. So this is the file is there EMP. Suppose if a user changes the location, put it to Bangalore. Bangalore, let's save that. So in the source, you can get this file and uh, here user change the location. Now uh, let's click on this uh, start here. So this time you can see a uh, historical record that's come there here, one was affected. And after that, uh, ODBC that's come there here, union. And now one record that's go for inserted. And so if I go into this and execute this query, here you can see. So this is the previous record and this change on this stamps or end this stamps and newly inserted record sales manager. So here location that change put it to bank law at the stamps. So this come or this if you want to get this millisecond or if you user change here you can see this created 53, 55 change on 55 and 9 and here others at the same time the uh, no, new record that's inserted there and here this is the record. So for this one since this is uh, uh, receiving the duplicate values so that uh, this TP number should not be any primary key. So primary key uh, here it must not be. Then you can uh, this TP number is save here duplicate value. So here you can see uh, previous record this uh, previous record is now displaying there and newly inserted record also. So the next is here I'm going to do the modification of this table. So here let's uh, change uh, this address I have to or uh, let's give the uh, location 10 for and uh, here going to do one insert or uh, 18 and let's give your marketing and let's give the address here birth. So one is for insert and one for update. So I stop this one and now I start the task there. So here you can see historical attributes that's come there and here you can see new output new record that's come there. One is for update that's go there and after that total two row inserted there. So now if I run this query here you can see. So uh, I did the changes on this uh, 16 Ohio and the new address of this one is now uh, 16 you can see 10 were the new address of this so uh, different number that's come there and newly inserted record is now this 18 market this okay so this is how we can achieve SED type 2 using SSIS SQL Server integration service so I hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now this video is over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you